Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Um, I have gotten many requests of about uh, how to draw horses, T tutorials overall, and uh, one topic that is particularly uh, popular is to draw a horse head from the front. Straight from the front. So I was gonna have a little tutorial here about how you can achieve that to draw a horse straight from the front. So hopefully I will manage to teach you something. But anyway, let's start. Okay, so a horse from the front. We I'm gonna draw two heads. One with a little longer face and one where you have the muscle uh, straight in the face. I'm sorry, I'm not a native English, I'm a Swedish, so... But I will uh, do my best with English. Anyway, I'm gonna do the more uh, common view. Let's not do it like that. Let's do it like this. So you start with a circle. And you do it like this, you make a little star kind of. At least I do it like this. And you do it like that, across. There you have the base of the doll. And then I'm gonna do the uh, the temple. So let's see, if we say the ear starts there. I'm just gonna mark them out. And the temple comes here and out enough and then I do a little bit of eyebrow there not eyebrow eyelashes horses do not have eyebrows if they aren't ca cartoons and here is the eye a bit of it at least then I do the same on the other you can always copy and paste paste um, the sides though it looks a little bit too um, uh, similar to each other then so it might, you might enter uncanny, uncanny valley is the word bit of eyelids there and we have the start of it all it's okay just gonna do this up here it's the forehead just to mark it out and here comes the jaw Let's see, the facial crest it goes a little bit here, side, and then it goes down there. And here comes the other side. I think that I made that one a little bit too big. A little bit too. Do it again. And there we have that one, yeah. So here we have the face so far. I'm gonna go up here and start on the ears. The ears are often very simple at least for me. And there we go. The ears are always pointing inwards when they are uh, facing forward you can see it like that and then we have the other ear which is quite similar yeah and then we have the back of the ears it comes there and then it is flat up there I almost think, yeah, it's a little bit too big, so let's fix that. Go down here. A central T for shortcut. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, something like that, maybe a little bit. This is a beautiful thing about Photoshop, you can edit things like this as you go.
helps it a lot. To be totally frank, I'm not so satisfied with the ears. I'm gonna lift them up a little bit. Sometimes you really need to just test around and see what works. Still not 100%, but it's just a sketch. It's just to show how it works. And here comes uh, these muscles here. Goes up to face this, the arrow up in the forehead. And I do like this. This is my personal style with the muscles and everything in the face. So, not everything is 100% uh, true or anatomically correct. Okay, so here we have the actual mus muscle or the nose, facial bone. Yeah, facial bone. Sorry. Goes down this here we have it and then we go out here is the nostril one of them go out. and here comes the next one it's all about feeling and how you want to do it yourself down here you do a little kind of square half a square Bad. Here comes the nostrils. Just a little bit of shadowing here. And a bit here. Something like that. And under here comes the bottom lip. You just fill it in down there. Like that. And as I see now, the muscle should be lifted up a little bit. Yeah, something there. Here comes my eraser again. Just to make things work again. This is the beautiful thing with Photoshop, you can always change things. Okay, so here we have the, uh, what's the word? The jaw? No, the jaw. It must be the jaw. There. And here comes this muscle here. It's the bone to the facial crest. Here we have the middle facial mus muscle bone thingy. It goes down. Of course, you delete some of the lines afterwards because they are not supposed to be so uh, protrudent, so visible. little bit of shadow in the nostrils just a little bit like that and a little bit of shadow in the eyes also and a little bit in the ears and of course it needs to have a mane of some sort so you just or forelock is the word you just go up here and 
Make a messy little main. Four lock. <laughs> and there we have our face from the front. Turning a little bit more. I'm as, uh, almost going into perfection here because sometimes I'm a little bit a perfectionist. Sometimes, most uh, most often I'm not, but I can never be one hundred percent certain. Okay, so there we have the front view. So let's see, we're just gonna make the neck here. A very simple neck, very simple. So that's the front, uh, front view. So the next one we're gonna do the muscle. So it's here basically, straight from the face. So we do the same again, circle, and then we do uh, slightly a square out of it. Come down, square, and up a little bit. So it is like this. Yeah. And then we go down. Here comes the eye. The temple of the eye. And here comes the eyelash. And the same goes to the other side. So there's the eye. The circle on each side to mark the eye. And and you make the eye get a little bit pointy down there like that here comes the eyelid from underneath and then you do the upper eyelid like that and here comes the facial crest or jaw or if we want to call it like, like I said English is not my native language, so excuse me for uh, language error. <laughs> okay, so time for the ear. There we have it. Oh, it's a little fatty ear. Just a little bit of hair. In the air, needs to have hair. Yeah. And we have that one ear. Here comes the other. There we go. And down. Yeah. Comes here again. Hair. Not here. Hair again. So there we have two ears. I'm gonna hide them a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so if we do it like this, this is the bottom of the jaw. Bit of crest, bo 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 bo. So there we have it. And now we're gonna place the muscle. So I want it here. Here I want it. And then I want the bottom lip there or jaw so here comes one of the nostrils and here is the other and I'm very careful up here do not give it a bulgy uh, facial bone or nasal bone is the word be very careful with that here comes the arrow up in the forehead. Here you connect the eye with the uh, muscle. There you have it. And then 
going to go down here. Bottom of the muscle. Here comes the nostril. Every nostril is always un unique on each horse, I have reckoned. Some are more even, some are not so even. It all depends on the individual. There we have the nostrils for this horse. And here comes a little bit of structure. that the muscle is a little bit too high up so I'm gonna lower it a little bit just because I can <laughs> see yeah there that's where I want it Here comes the bone for the big jaw. And here comes that muscle here. No, not there. It is invisible from that view, so sorry about that. I actually want to make this a little bit smaller. There is absolutely no wrong with changing your design as you uh, go along. It's just good if you can see the errors and eliminate them as fast as possible, basically. Um, I think that the head is a little bit too... Um, what would I say? Wide? Or? No? Yeah? Maybe? Possible? Possibly? We're gonna do it like this. Okay, wait a minute. Magic of Photoshop or softwares overall. Sometimes you just need to do it like that and it solves everything, basically. Okay, so a little bit of shadow in the eye. And a little bit in the ear. Just gonna delete down here. I'm actually gonna turn them a little bit more inwards. That did not work. I think the main problem here, because there is the main problem, I think it is the fact that uh, these lines are meeting here, and it's never a good idea to let them meet like that. I'm gonna lower this even further. Hopefully it won't look too bad. Though I was supposed to have it like straightforward. Okay, if we keep it there, and then we have this line here. Yeah, I guess it works. And a little bit of shadow down here to make it even clearer that this is behind. Okay. 
And then we have the neck here together with this here. And a little bit of there. Okay. And a little bit of mane. Or lock. I always say say it wrong. So here we have it. A little bit of shadow there. And just a little bit more of shadow here. Just a little bit of hair. A lot helps when you are adding shadows to the drawings. And you can help with the depths and such. So yeah, here you have two horse horse heads from the front. Just gonna make this a little bit smaller so it suits the other. And there we go. I hope this tutorial helped you. And uh, yeah. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.